<clears throat> Welcome back to tutorial number five, and you'll be learning about if statements. Basically, what if statements allow you to do is that they allow you to tell the computer to make decisions. Computers cannot make decisions on their own. You have to specify and tell them exactly how to make decisions. Without that, computers really can't do anything, and that's why computers are really stupid. Okay, so now we're going to use a calculator example from tutorial number 4 and we're going to make it more advanced. So, um, let me zoom in here. So, let's make a double, let's make three double variables, num1, num2, and result. Let's make an int variable called choose. And you'll see what this choose variable does in a second. So now we're going to get the user um, to input a num input both numbers. Enter number one, and then send num one. Cl. Enter number two. Send Okay, so that looks similar to the last tutorial. Okay, now we're gonna make the computer decide if the, we're gonna let the person, the user, decide if they are going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So we're gonna put um one for one add two subtract 3 multiply and 4 divide and then so now we're going to get the user input so now we're going to get sin choose so now the user is going to enter a number between 1 and 4 so this is where if statements come in. If argument and then in between this comes a statement. So when you have an if statement, the argument goes in here and the statement comes below. Notice how I have the braces out here. If you only have one statement, like result equals one, then you don't need the braces. The braces are if you have more than one statement, so like result equals 1, num1 equals 0, then you need the braces. But if you only have one, if you have one statement, then you don't need the braces. So in this case, our argument is if choose is equal to 1. Notice I put two equal signs. Because I do two equal, it's comparing it to see if it is equal to 1. If I only put one equal sign, it will just change the value of choose and it will make choose equal to one, which we don't want. We want to compare it. So if choose is equal to one, we're only going to have one statement. So we're going to put result is equal to num1 plus num2. Then this is a new statement, else if. It's just saying that if the if statement is not true, then you go to this statement and check if it's true so if choose is equal to 2 result is equal to num1 minus num2 else if choose equals 3 result equals num1 times num2 else if choose equals 4 result is equal to num1 divided by num2 and then that's the end of our if statement so now we just wanna put the result on the screen your result is and then we're gonna put the result on the screen and then end line and let's test this program
So enter number one. So I'm gonna put six. Enter number two, eight. So let's add them together. So I input one. Enter six plus eight equals fourteen. So then now let's run this program again just to test out if the other functions work. So let's put five and three and I put three for multiply and five times three is fifteen. It's kinda cool, isn't it? So the user can do it. The user can decide. Now you might want to say like what if they enter a number that isn't that isn't one, two, three, or four? Well, there's an else statement, so if they don't put in a value, then you can just put else. So if all these aren't true, so if choose is not equal to 1, or it's not equal to 2, or not equal to 3, or not equal to 4, then it will do this. So I'll just put result equals 0. And then, let's run this. So, enter 8 and 9 and then I'm going to enter 6 your results equal to 0 because it's not 1, 2, 3, or 4 right? so that's just the basics of um, if statements I'm going to go more in depth into it in my next tutorial thanks and bye